given to God, and the other one didn't. And on that time, the time of King Akab and Zezebel, they used to have this confusion. And a challenge that was to be given on that night was a God that is true, a God that actually answers. It is a God that answers with fire. That was the, the God that they thought. And if we look at the word today, we're going to see that it says, Those who come after me will be blessed by the blood, by the fire. And there's a text that says, The fire will be continuously on the altar of God. It will never stop. It will never cease. And we can see it through the whole Bible. And there was a moment that the... A servant called Moses he was taking care of the lamps from his uh, father-in-law in the mount the mountains and he saw from far in a, in a source it was just like a florist it was like a bush and it was a fire but it wasn't consuming it was it was really it was really easy to see all the bushes getting fire but it used to consume all the bush. But you can see that that fire that was on the bush, it was different. It wasn't a fire that was consuming the bush. So the fire, the sin fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit, it doesn't, it doesn't consume. It preserves. It's a different kind of fire. It's a, it's a sin fire, fire, a holy fire. And the and before they got a weird fire, and they brought in the altar of God. And the Bible says that no one of them survived. So we need to know. We need to have the the knowledge, and we need to actually see what we are doing. And when Moses got close to see that thing. God actually, God actually told him, Moses, this way, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. You're going to be barefooted because this place that you're in, it's blessed. With your reasons, it's not with the reasons, with your human understanding, it's not what you think. It's not by your way that you see the things that you think that you understand that you're going to be close to me. No. Because our God, it's a holy God. Be holy because God is holy. So he had to take it off. Their shoes, his shoes, so he could be on that place. So he could be in the presence of God and hear what God had to to do for his life. Hey, my brothers, uh, God showed us a vision. It was uh, a gift, a man. Uh, he was building a house. And one thing that was it was worried him when he was building the house it was the the roof it was a way that he actually got the material that was gonna be used for the base he was putting on the roof so he could finish the house the the construction of our lives spiritual lives the most important the base, it's the beginning, it is when we are born. It is the word of God. It is the project of God for me, for yours, for our lives. The house that was that was blessed by the rock stayed there. Why? Because it was blessed on the rock. And who's the rock? is Jesus so the base for our faith for 
everything that we need is Jesus. If Jesus is not, is not my base, is not the thing that I always need, the, the thing that I always use, my spiritual life will fall apart. And Jesus was showing tonight that he wanted to teach two things. He wanted to teach me, to teach you, to, to actually build something, right? To build a spiritual life inside of the project of God. So we could stay in that project. The Lord showed, oh, there's a bug right here. Uh, so the Lord showed uh, also a woman. And this woman, she came here, you can say, she was like, uh, she has something in her throat, she has something in her throat, she was kind of choking, and that thing, it wasn't, it wasn't letting her breathe, it was causing discomfort, and sometimes we have uh, something in our throat, we, we like, you know, when you have something in your troll, it's kind of causing some discomfort with you. And the troll and is between the body and the head. So we're talking about a fellowship. And the Bible, the Bible talks about and says, if we walk on the light, the light where the Jesus is, we have fellowship with who? with the brothers and the blood of Jesus Christ who purified us from all our sins oh and how many times do we have to forgive our brother seven seventy seven times seven seventy oh Jesus doesn't doesn't teach us pray oh you wanna you wanna learn how to pray okay put your hands together let's go God, forgive our sins, just like we, ah, so the forgiveness, uh, to consider, like, if I want forgiveness, I have to forgive my brother, ouch. Our brother, if you don't forgive my brother, God is not going to forgive us. So, if I'm smart, for God to forgive me, I have to forgive my brother. Even if that's smart, that brother has to do that. So, the forgiveness of God, it is together with us uh, by us forgiving our brothers uh, mother sister everyone your friend from the work whoever it is Jesus come and said when you go to the service uh, given the offer to God if you remember that there's someone that doesn't like you and there's so, there, and there's something against you you're gonna leave that your offer and and you're gonna go back and fix everything with your brother when you're in the way and then you're gonna come back and sh and give your offer Do you, your brothers understand Do you need more I don't think so right so, this woman that had something in her throat, she was, she was having a stroke. Sister, you have to forgive. You have to forgive. So, you could be forgiven. If you want forgiveness of God. Because you do things wrong, just like us. If you need Jesus to forgive us. You need to forgive those who have offended you. It doesn't matter. You have to do that. If you want, if you want to go to heaven, if you want eternity, if you want to see the holy fire, the presence of God in your life, 
there's nothing that you can do with God. There's no talk with God. What God says, He said. And He said that is, this is the only way. And if they ask, how do you pray? You pray like, uh, forgive, forgive my sins, just like I forgive those who have done something for me. So the people, they need it. A blessing of God, from God. They need an answer from God. My brother and my sister, me that I'm here at the time. We come here at the house of God at this night to to get an answer from God. God used to show that there was a sister. That she was writing a letter. There's even a song, and it says, "I sent." a uh, letter to God and in the name of Jesus and this this letter bring, uh, brought me a solution and it is with me every day and it's giving me happiness and after that it says that this letter it's signed by Jesus the first song that we actually sang today when 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 for you when of faith we we give forgiveness and with our blood and uh, Jesus bring what the answers from the God in the world right now it's an answer from God the altar was broke there was no way that the queue have a service with the altar broke. The people used to say that Jesus writes right in the in the wrong lines. That's impossible. It sounds like that. Uh, even um, the things that the crowd. I'll make it right. I'll make it straight. And this text right now, he talks about an altar that was broke. The altar that our lives many times are broke. The fellowship was broke. Because of a problem, because of, the diff because of many things. Because sometimes of a word that we heard that actually made us hurt, that <laughs> made us have something in our throat. And there's nothing that we can do. There's nothing we can do when we're in this situation. We're, when we enter the house of God, the brother, he pleaded. And he asked for the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus provides us and forgives all our sins. And with no blood, there is no forgiveness. There is no reconstruction. The Bible says, my brother, that the altar was broke. And the prophet of God. He used to say, he used to call the people, just like, come to me. The Holy Spirit is doing this to us tonight. We need to get close to the prophet of God. We need to get close to the Holy Spirit. Because he's the only one that can reconstruct and fix the altar. The it is our life that it broke. Only through the blood of Jesus, only through the blood of Jesus, we can fix our lives. We can actually renew. There is no other way. So come to me. And the people at that time, they actually heard, and they followed the defy of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that everyone actually came together and this is what God wants for us tonight for us to get together 
and everyone got together. They forgot about their problems, all the things that they had to do. All the people were together. What does that mean? They were in fellowship. Everyone went to the light because the Bible says, uh, walk, walk in the light because in the light we have fellowship with everyone. Who's the light? Light is Jesus. And Jesus says, I'm the light of the word. So everyone went to the light of Jesus. And when they were in the presence of God, the Bible says that that man got 12 rocks. 12 rocks is related to Israel. The, the 12 <coughs> tribes of Israel. But the 12 rocks also have a meaning for us church. The 12, the 12 uh, followers of God. And, the, and we follow the doctrine of, of them. So, the doctrine, it, it hasn't changed. Heavens can pass, but the doctrine is the same. The the plead but in Jesus' blood. We have to look at the Bible. We have to forgive everyone. So the doctrine, it's not allowed. to doesn't exist in the servants' life because the doctrine is one. Is make us stay together give us fellowship that's very important for us to be in the Sunday school so we could understand about doctrines that are basic in the word of Jesus so at that time Elias said come to me and all the people came to him and they actually saw the altar of God that it was broke at this time, Jesus wants to do this to us. He wants to fix our altar. He wants to fix our spiritual lives. He wants to fix our lives in His presence. And when everyone saw that, um, the Bible said He put the, the wood, and on top of the wood, He put the sacrifice. So we could see that there's their faces for us to follow. If they had put in the the sacrifice and then the wood, there wasn't gonna be any fire came came in from the came in from the heavens. But he put first the wood and then the sacrifice. If Jesus is looking at me and if he sees um, before me the sacrifice there's no Holy Spirit there's no Holy Fire under my fire, on me but if Jesus look at me and see that through my life there's a sacrifice of Jesus then there's blessings on my life when Jesus look from up the word is me the, the the one that have all the sins and the one that sins the only way the thing and for those who have sins they'll die but Jesus had the sacrifice so he actually accept my offer so my life my spiritual life it is on his project and there is holy fire and then we are actually gonna feel and the name of Jesus will be glorified and this is the word for us tonight that the altar that is fire that is blessings from God <coughs> do you want to see do you want to see everything change my life the interesting thing do you know what was it it was that when the offer was accepted all the people that were together 
of them, they have they have only one word. Do you know what word that was? Only you are God. My sister, and my brother, and for myself that I'm preaching that when we're in this position, everyone that's around us, they'll say, "Wow, it was God that did that." With this blessing, the the brother God, with this cure, with, with that spiritual life, with all the things that God is given, that stuff from God. And Jesus says, always look forward and and always look first for the thing, for my things, and then everything else is gonna come behind. And when we put our spiritual life in God, and when we follow the projects of God, because we cannot, we cannot go away from the project of God, because the Bible says, a thousand will fall on your right, ten, ten thousand on your left, but you're not gonna be rich. So look at the Jesus, the author, and the one that they give us faith. The people were there, the author was fixed, the offer was given, and fire from the heaven came, and the name of Jesus was glorified. This is what, what God wants for, for my, for your, for our lives. When we are in this position, the blessings of God actually happens and His name is glorified. Let's sing a song. Hallelujah. And this uh, at this time the church will, be, will stand up. God we thank you for everything at this time. We thank you for being your house uh, because <clears throat> because we're being blessed by your son Jesus Christ. And we thank you for everything because you have protected us, you have preserved us. And we thank you for your love, your grace. We ask you for uh, for you to bless us, returning to our homes, from your, your servants that are here tonight, and so you can give us peace. So receive our service at this time that we give it to you, in the name of Jesus, and we give and we say at this time that the holy blessing. Now and forever, Amen. Uh, we finished the brothers may be seated if anyone needs praise and uh, the understanding of the everything just raise your hand and we're gonna talk to you amen
on, hold on, hold on. Stop recording, stop recording, stop recording.